Booker Award winner, author from Sri Lanka, Shihan Karuna Tilaka was in Dhaka to take part in the Dhaka Lit Fest. He spoke to Doordarshan about his books, the process of writing books and several issues. I began by asking him about the process of writing the Booker Award winner book, Seven Moons of Mali Almeida. Wow. That's a lot of things to answer. The process took seven years. I started in 2015 and I wrote it about three, four times from the beginning to start before we finally had this version. So it was a long process. I was just a very simple idea. I thought, what if the victims of Sri Lanka's many wars and tragedies could speak? What if the dead could speak? What would they talk about Sri Lanka and what it has done to them? That's what simple idea is where I started with. And then I just looked at all the, the victims of our wars and I turned them into ghosts and had them interact and talk to each other. And I suppose that's a simple way of saying what the book is about. But um, yeah, it took a long time. It took a long time and I had to rewrite it during the pandemic. And um, but, you know, rewriting is what makes a book good, I think, or what makes a good book great. I don't know if it's great, but it was the best I could do. Yeah. I was curious to know, why does an author write after all? I don't know if our job is anything more than entertaining a reader. I think that is your primary purpose. Write a book that a stranger can pick up anywhere in the world. doesn't have to be Sri Lanka or Bangladesh, somewhere around the world who knows nothing about your subject, nothing about your country. And if you can write a book that a stranger can pick up and have an experience, that's our role. Tell a great story. As far as healing divisions and all that, you don't think about that when you're writing. You just think about telling the story. But yeah, I suppose good books can do that. They can let you see the world from another person's point of view and uh, see see issues that you may not have considered. And uh, yeah, but this is not something you think about when you're writing. You're telling a good story. And um, yeah, if it brings people together, fine. If it divides people, you know what... <laughs> That's also a side effect, but um, tell a good story. I think that's basically what we do. Yeah. But the question remained, should a novelist take side in his work in a world which is so divided? It shouldn't be, if you know that the author is trying to peddle an argument or convince you, I don't know if those books are satisfying. You shouldn't see the author's intention. If you can see the intention, maybe the book needs to be worked on a bit more. Um, I tend to like authors who are invisible, who um, that the book is bigger than them. Uh, but of course, you know, your opinion will come through and all of that. But I, I write often characters who are very different to me, just to try and explore their psyche and their way of looking at things. I don't know, authors can do what they like. You can be impartial or you can take a very definite stance and that's up to you. But I tend to like to be invisible. Yeah, that's... I'm very curious to know your... And what are the new books and projects that Shihan Karuna Tilake is working on these days? On some topics? Yeah, yeah, I have a lot of projects. Um, but I haven't had much time to write since the Booker Prize. I've been kind of juggling a lot of things. But yes, I'm writing a third novel. I started it earlier this year. It's about Sri Lanka, but doesn't have any ghosts or any cricket in it. It's a very different novel. I'm writing some children's books. One about insects, one about bugs. And I'm also working on a screenplay for, for someone else. Uh, so there's a lot of projects to be done. Uh, hopefully I get some time to sit down and write. Yeah, let's see. Shihan spoke about writing children's books. But is there any specific process of writing books for children? That will come to the Yeah, so it's the same. Look here, whether you're writing a book for adults or kids, you're still using a piece of paper, pencil and your brain and your soul and your heart. It's the same process. But yeah, I do. So I have a five-year-old, I have an eight-year-old, I read to them every day or as much as I can. And I look at the things that they would enjoy. So when I'm writing now, I know my son is fascinated with insects. I wrote a book about plants, uh, plants that could walk and talk. And I knew, and I was telling him the story. So I, I have an easy target to audience. I have a focus group. I tell my children the story. If they respond to it, then I sit and write it. My brother illustrates it for me. And uh, yeah, it's it's a fun thing. It doesn't. This takes about seven years. It's kids' books I can do in a few months. So it's a fun thing, and also I like it because you know you can share it with your kids and get the feedback immediately. But yeah, I just do things that interest me, interest them, and I think that's the main thing. You find a subject you're interested in, and you you research it as much as you can. So yeah, 
bugs and insects i'm fascinated i think they insects rule the earth not humans i believe and they are much more sophisticated so i'm anyway i've, I've just started researching but hopefully it should be out soon creative writing is a difficult thing i wanted shihan to tell me whether he needs any inspiration to start writing he said no no you just yeah you can't wait for inspiration you have to turn up any job you have to turn up to work every day even if you don't feel like it even if you don't feel inspired you have to turn up to work every day that's the main thing a lot of write uh, people who are trying to write they say well i don't have inspiration i'm going to go to the a desert island and sit and write it's never going to happen you so you have to find the so i was working and i'm still i do other jobs you find 2 3 hours to yourself usually early in the morning and you turn up every day and you do that for 6 months you will have something but uh, if you wait for inspiration yeah i mean maybe there are some geniuses who get it all the time i don't get inspired maybe once a month but i have i turn up for 29 days before yeah so i think that's any job you turn up and you do the do the best you can thanks shihan karuna tilaka for talking to doordarshan and all india radio this is rajesh jha from dhaka lit fest at bangla academy premises in dhaka